Hey, welcome to Atkins Diet in the Kitchen. My name is Kent Altima, and this week we're going to be making a low-carb breakfast recipe because you can't have enough low-carb breakfast recipes. So the recipe I'm going to be making is Denver muffins, so come along with me as we cook it up low-carb style. So I already have my, uh, a tablespoon of butter cooking in my pan here, and my oven is preheating at 350 degrees. I'm going to take half a medium onion, one half red bell pepper, and one half green bell pepper. If you don't have either the green or the red, you could just use one or the other. I kind of like using both. So I'm going to mix these around. To this I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Alright, we're going to let these cook until the onions and peppers get tender, so we'll catch back up at that point. Alright, welcome back. My onions and peppers are tender at this point, so I'm going to toss in four ounces of ham, black forest ham, into the You really are looking just to um, heat up the ham because I've turned the stove down to a very low temp. So the next thing up is we need to crack eight eggs. Here's my final egg. I'm going to give these a quick beat. Alright, to these I'm going to add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Four ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. And finally, a third of a cup of almond flour. And my last ingredient is one teaspoon of parsley flakes, just for color. I'm going to beat this together. All right, I'm going to be baking these into a 12 slot muffin tin. You want them well greased. The holes. And I'm going to put in roughly a half a cup of mixture into each of the holes. Alright, for the final one I'm going to have to scrape it in there. And we're going to put in some of that ham and pepper mixture into each of the cups.
And then finally, take a spoon and press the mixture further into the cup. All right, we're gonna bake these in our 350 degree oven for roughly 12 to 15 minutes. They're done at just as the eggs begin to set. They'll finish cooking as we pull them out. So we'll catch back up at that point. All right, my timer just went off. All right, 14 minutes later, these are well done. They're, you know they're done when the egg starts setting up on top. We're gonna to put these on top of my stove for just another, say, 10 more minutes to let them finish off cooking. At that point, we can easily take them out of the pan. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope this reaches everyone in great health. I'll talk to you guys later, and if you have any comments, put them in the uh, section below. Thanks.